Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Now today we're taking a look at a pretty funky, interesting kind of electrician inspired watch from a company, the same company that produces I believe the Dietrich watches, uh, which are quite interesting watches as well. This one being a quartz watch focused on, you know, energy and wires and stuff like that. And comes at a price point of 380 US dollars. And uh, there's the box in front of you. It's actually a battery. It looks like a battery. I think that's that's pretty cool there. But let's start with what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing the Oceanica OP1 Flieger. Probably the best value microbrand watch on the market. I believe these are 175 on sale. They have like 10 left. I believe the black is sold out, but they have a nice blue sunburst. Miyota 90S5. Great watch. Um, really puts other microbrands to shame. Now, taking a look at this exact model here. Let me go ahead and open up the box here, or the battery. And there's the nice little logo there, ELZ, the electricians, how it works, energy conductor, display, and uh, yeah, electricians.com, designed by Studio Divine. Definitely a quite an interesting packaging and an interesting watch, as you'll see here in a second. And there's the watch. So yeah, quite an interesting watch. Definitely the first on this channel of something like this. And if I can get this out of here, let me just take this out of here, and that's pretty much it. Let me get to the watch now. So here in front of you is the Electrician's Carbon Z, obviously a carbon fiber case. And as you can see, it's quite an interesting watch. You have all those wires going on, a lot of different colors, basically all the same colors you'd see on electrical wires. So it's definitely geared towards someone who's really into, you know, flowing of energy and current, and likes wires, mainly electricians, I would say, or people who are in that field of work. But anyway, the watch is 380 US dollars. Uh, they are actually a Swiss watch company, I believe so. Now the case is a black, mass colored nylon carbon case. And it feels really nice. I think they did the case very good. The quality is definitely there. Everything is really uh, on point, I've noticed. And you can see the crown there. It looks like a bolt or a flathead screw. And we have another pusher there, which actually does something really cool and lights up the actual area where you read the time over near the three o'clock position. Now those wires on the left uh, don't actually do anything, they're just for show. So keep that in mind, it's kind of, you know, more of a gimmicky watch I'd say. It is quite a rather large watch at 45 millimeters in terms of diameter. We have a 22 millimeter lug width. We have a hardened uh, mineral K1 glass with anti-reflective coating. It is slightly domed there, chamfered on the edges here as you can see there. But it definitely allows for very good legibility, I must say. Now the movement itself is built with a custom quartz in-house module, so it's definitely something custom that they made themselves. And uh, let's take a little closer look in on the dial and all the cool details on this timepiece. Keep in mind this watch is water resistant to 3 ATMs or 30 meters, so definitely keep this thing away from the water or you will get electrified. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to go ahead and push this button here. As you can see, it lights up the time there. So you have no problem reading the time at night on this uh, exact timepiece right here. And it's a nice blue color, it lasts a couple seconds. Crown is pull and push over here, quite easy to use. So we have all those fake wires there just for show, but I think it looks pretty cool. We have a nice kind of red and uh, kind of hazard ticking seconds hand on this uh, Swiss quartz movement. We have kind of semi-skeletonized blue hands for the minute. And a nice, you know, just a lot of details. You see the battery part right there of the quartz movement, the electricians is printed in white. Some nice screws over here holding on this plate where the time is actually told. So it's pretty much a uh, time only watch. Now uh, another nice feature is actually this nice NATO style strap. It's actually genuine calf leather with the embossed logo here. And I thought this strap was really nice, especially the color coding with the hazard here, the blue and the red or orange. A uh, nice buckle, very sturdy, very sturdy strap I must say. And there's the electrician's logo right on the back. Uh, let's take a peek at the exact case back on this watch right here. Let me just slide this off. So looking at the case back, it's uh, fairly simple. Some nice designs though. We get their logo. We just get some basic specifications there. And uh, very neat, very well inscribed. And your model number, etc. And I actually use this watch. We have a pull and push crown here, which has really good grip, I must say. Uh, very easy to use. So you pull out, I'm going to pull out one position and then that'll hack the seconds and you can just set the time precisely here. That's pretty much it. Just one position, pull in, pull out, 
Very easy to use, very easy to function. There's that nice blue LED light up, uh, which is obviously uh, not standard in a normal quartz movement. They did add that to the watch. So quite interesting. Uh, the case itself feels pretty solid for a carbon uh, case here. Very nice, almost like a gray, dusty color. Uh, very nicely cut. Taking a look at the other side, the logo is there, the electricians. Uh, definitely a very unique watch, a very cool looking watch. Something definitely, uh, definitely a wild card watch in your collection if you were to purchase something like this. And uh, let's see how it looks on my 6.5 inch wrist. So there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. I must say it, uh, it's pretty comfortable on this strap itself. The strap's very flexible straight out of the box. It's not a very stiff one. It's quite thin as well, but it's pretty tough and robust. I do like this strap a lot. I think, uh, you know, maybe a, I would say a millimeter too big for my wrist. Um, you know, but it looks good from the top on, as you can see there. A lot of different colors, a lot of, you know, stuff to look at when you're bored, etc. So overall, guys, uh, you know, I think it's an interesting, unique watch. It's something different. It's something that takes a bit more design and goes into something like a dive watch or, you know, a chronograph. This one is really thought out and uh, definitely not a homage watch or anything like that. Definitely a design of their own and a pretty unique design as you won't see anything else like this out in the wild. Although I think the price could be a little bit lower. I think 380 is a bit high. I think you'd be looking at more 275 or 250. Would be a better selling point. That's just my opinion though. Uh, but it is a very well made watch. I must admit that the strap is very nice here. And uh, overall, you know, it's, it's a cool watch. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. I uh, will leave a link down to their website in the description if you want to learn more about this company. Uh, and you can always find articles on WatchAddictChannel.com. Follow me on Instagram at WatchAddictChannel. Once again, this is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews coming to you with the electricians, Carbon Z. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.